Welcome back, everybody. Today is December 9th, 2023. We are back in Palm Desert, Rancho Mirage area. Today, we're at Desert Memorial Park. I figured we'd go around town. I'm gonna be gone by the 12th, which is actually Frank Sinatra's birthday. He was born December 12th, 1950. And December 5th was Walt Disney's birthday too, 1901. So we just had his birthday too. Two major influences, two major American icons. Walt Disney, Frank Sinatra. I love all the history. Frank called this his home. Palm Springs was truly Frank's home and he loved it here. So I thought we'd go pay our respects to him and go look at some of the places, some of Frank's famous haunts. We'll go look at his possibly first house, the Twin Palms, but we'll go by his second house with the street that's actually named after him. So let's go. So they have this little wall and this fountain right here, which is quite peaceful, but I just want to show you, if you ever want to make your own trek out here to see Frank Sinatra, there's restrooms over here, the front office, and they actually have um, a flyer. Actually, I'll go grab one that shows where Frank Sinatra and other celebrities out here are buried. There's some people that just paid their respects. So from the office, if you come in the main entrance, you make a left and then go all the way down. I forgot what road this is. It's just eluding me right now, but, and Frank is right by that car over there and right by that tree. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a map for you. The desert landscape is just so peaceful and calming out here. Just made my way over to the front office and it is closed actually right now. It should be open. Uh, 12 to 1, they have a lunchtime, but 9 a.m. to 4.30. I just, they have this little kiosk where you can find a grave. Or they have the celebrity maps, which are printed out right here. And the top of, on top of the list is Sonny Bono and Frank Sinatra. Okay, here comes the wind. Look at that. Tournament of Interest. Edward Babcock, that's uh, Chester Babcock, who wrote so many songs and did so many uh, different orchestras for Frank's Notion. Very good friend of Frank's. Who else is on here? Sonny Bono. A couple other names to point out. If I see one, I'll mention it. Make my way kind of slow, so if you want to look as well. Jilly Rizzo, that was actually, he's over by Frank, I'll show you. Barbara Ann Sinatra, Barbara's buried here as well. Donald Wexler, if you guys know anything about the uh, architecture out in Palm Springs, look up Donald Wexler. So a couple things at the Desert Memorial Park, well, at the Palm Springs Cemetery District, got the information sheet. Frank Sinatra did call Palm Springs, Palm Desert, uh, his home for over 40 years. He just loved it here. Uh, up until his death when he moved back to Malibu and passed away in 1998, uh, Sinatra just thought this was the best place. And no matter where he was, if he was in San Diego, Lake Tahoe, Las Vegas, he would always fly back. He'd want to be back in Palm Springs after his shows whenever he finished up. Um, I think he loved the freedom. He wasn't bothered out here, and the clean air, it's just beautiful. And especially when he lived here, there was so much, well, a smaller community to say, and you could just have the run of the uh, of the place. Uh, we'll probably head over to Highway 111, show some of the restaurants that Frank would go to. A lot of them are gone, sad to say, as times change. You know, people get older, but some still remain. Uh, a couple that come to mind, Lord Fletcher's, he would always stop by there. Uh, another place that he would always stop by would be Melvin's, had his own table inside there. That is still around in, in Palm Springs, but I'm gonna go wish Frank a happy birthday real quick before we go check out some other spots. Oh, one thing too, I wanna to show you too on here. 
they're really good about this. So, looking on here, here's Frank Sinatra. This is the main entrance, and like I said, you make a left, and there's Sinatra. It just shows you the line. And Sonny Bono has this half. Suzanne Summers is going to be, so, she's already laid to rest here, and she will be somewhere over here. So, she just has no headstone at this time as we make our way to frank i just stopped by well i just actually passed this this is bobby van Heusen. it says singing in the rain may 2nd 1999 and here's jimmy van Heusen swinging on a star january 26 1913 february 6 1990 with love bobby so he passed away in 1990 so no doubt sinatra was here for for his funeral and so from Jimmy Van Heusen, also known as Chester Babcock, that was his real name before he changed it. Go over here is Jilly Rizzo, Sinatra's bodyguard, longtime friend, my terrible shadow, Jilly, 1917-1992. It says he was the best, and I got to figure Frank did put that for him. Uh, Jilly was actually, well, the day he was born on, it was his birthday. He was going home here in Palm Springs. And a drunk driver hit him, and he actually died on his birthday. And Frank was just so distraught after losing Frank's own mom inside a uh, plane crash. We go over here and walk down the line from Jilly. Here's Natalie Sinatra, beloved wife and mother, and Anthony Sinatra. That's uh, Frank's mom and dad. And as we pass, we're coming to you, Frank. We have Barbara Ann Sinatra right here. And Barbara just passed away in 2017, so only six years ago. Beloved wife and grandmother. And without further ado, I'd like to present the birthday boy himself, Francis Albert Sinatra. Born December 12th, 1915. Passed away in 1998. Meant so much to so many people and still does. His songs are heard everywhere. Um, I always was a fan growing up. Uh, got me through some times. Good and bad. There's always a Sinatra song for that. So happy birthday, Frank. Glad to be here and sharing it with you. So before we leave, Frank, we're here a couple days early. Like I said, today is the 9th of 2023. Just wanted to stop by since I always stop by Frank when I'm out here. All right, Frank, I'll take a knee for you. And somebody left him a golf ball. Usually there's a bottle of Jack Daniels out here as well. Let me be one of the first to wish you. Happy birthday, Frank. You meant so much to so many and still do. Sleep warm, Papa. And if you look online, this uh, headstone is actually relatively new. I mean, within the last five years, I would say. Um, it has changed. There's not much information on it, but if you know, you kind of know. So we've made it to 70588 Frank Sinatra Drive. Now this house, the compound as it was known, is Frank Sinatra's house for over spanning four decades. He lived here for 41 years. Uh, 1954 to 1995. This is where you have all his parties, have everyone over, so they have it all decorated for Frank. Let's take a look. Well, hello everybody, I'm Huell Hauser, and this is going to be a real adventure. We are standing here, it's a beautiful sunny morning here at Rancho Mirage, and we're standing here right on Frank Sinatra Drive, which is very appropriately named why is that, Gary? Because we're at the home of Frank Sinatra. Or That's what right. This is Frank Sinatra's house. Just want to show real quick the outside of it. And they do have the decorations up and the reindeer. Frank would have loved this. There we are. But city of Rancho Mirage, in honor of Frank Sinatra, old blue eyes singer, actor, and consummate entertainer home of frank sinatra this is 1957 to 1995 this is on the tamarisk uh 
country club on the golf course and it does it's a full compound i would really recommend if you want to see more about it uh the huel hauser video frank sinatra you can find it on youtube he goes inside they open the gate for him and this is the original call box where frank would meet all of his guests but naming it sinatraville uh well let's talk a little bit about this well after, Frankie, after, now listen now listen elaine we're yeah. going to hear some inside stories here. after after the movie we generally wind up uh, around this bar and sometimes frank would get behind it or certainly we had uh, he had people that uh, that manned the bar but sinatra would mix the drinks oh he yeah, and lots of times he'd come back here and say uh, what do you what do you want let's go let's uh, and what was his drink of choice well he had uh, at various times it was a different drink sometimes it was a budweiser beer and sometimes out of the it was bottle or jack out of daniels a... yeah, and he, some, if he was thirsty enough anyway Way he can get it, you know. <laughs> and a quick, quick peek over the gate in the middle there. That used to be a uh, helicopter pad where Frank would fly to and from the helicopter or fly his helicopter from the airport. And his garage is where he'd keep all of his cars. So, yeah, pretty cool. Try to show from a different angle and as much as we can. I'll inter uh, insert some clips too. But yes, this is Frank Sinatra's compound where you'd find him walking around any day, any night. Probably wouldn't be too pleased with me right now being outside, that's for sure. I think when he was a, a, a kid, just like all of us, you know, you, you, uh, you go into the police athletic league or. Uh... Are you putting this together here or was this all here as it was? I mean, did, is that memorabilia that you've acquired? No, I believe that was here. That really? Was here. I remember it as yeah. being here. Yeah. Yeah. And here's a great picture of the Rat Pack right there up on the wall. Oh, yeah. Here's a picture of Sinatra and, and Dean mixing drinks. <laughs> I, uh, I believe that was on stage. At, at one point, they would have a cart rolled out on stage when they were performing and uh, they just fix the drinks right on stage. For well, you kind of get in the spirit of things yeah. down here. I don't see any Jack. Well, I'm sure there's some Jack Daniels. Right back. behind you. Right, right, right behind you. There it is. There it Jack is. Daniels. Yeah, that black was, label. That was his favorite. I know he wouldn't drink the green label. It had to be the <laughs> black label. Good stuff. Since this is on a busy, busy street, I don't really recommend uh, parking here. There is a park across the street that you can park over there and then walk over here and take a couple pictures if you'd like that but just a heads up well we're on highway 111 and since we are celebrating sinatra's birthday this was one of his favorite hangouts whenever he'd go into palm springs from rancho mirage and really when nothing was out here we're on country club and highway 111 lord fletcher's endless amounts of celebrities would come here and hang out there's actually a picture still hanging of sinatra inside here over the table where he would eat and entertain guests this place was established in 1966 so it's been family owned for as long as i forever actually until just recently when it just closed its doors i mean the pandemic and everything else so got the two lions these have always been here original doors and from what i've heard everything inside is still maintained lord fletcher's inn so you can just imagine Sinatra coming down Highway 111, stopping by for a drink before he goes to dinner on his way home from dinner. He would also come here, and this was one of the spots that he would come to for Monday Night Football and just to relax because it was so close and just to get out of the house like so many of us do. Look at that. A bolt. This could be Sinatra's bolt right here. Not taking that. And if you've ever driven down 111, I'm sure you've seen this many times, Lord Fletcher's. And right here is actually Thunderbird Ranch, which is home to the classic stars. Here's Highway 111. I want to show this side of it because it did just sell. And somebody came from, I believe, that way. And right after it sold, wouldn't you know it, it sat empty, just with dust and everything else and all the memorabilia inside. A car went right through here. And I believe this is the wall where the bar is. And they just finally repaired this wall. So it looks great. I guess uh, 
the structure is still sound, so they will be able to open up and begin operating once again. So, Lord Fletcher's. Gonna have to repair that sign. Looks like something happened up there too, but. Happy birthday, Frank. Another fun story about this place. It was said that Frank Sinatra would stay here till they closed. And he would, well, at many restaurants I've heard this, Sinatra would always throw like a 20 on the ground underneath the table and people would be like, why are you leaving a 20 down there? And he says, well, because in the morning when somebody comes to clean it up, think of the expression on their face when they see the 20. That's gonna make their day a whole lot better. So, just the type of guy Frank was. So here we are, we're at the Sinatra residence, the original one completed in 1947. This is the East Stuart Williams house, Twin Palms. We're on the main, main street and just talked to some nice people over here. They're from New Mexico visiting and gave them an update. They want to see some Sinatra stuff. They had no idea it was his birthday. Yeah, but this was also in so many movies. Get a real good overview. This is a, a rental now. And there they are, the palms, twin palms. And that's what the estate was named after. Like, you know, this was Sinatra's original house. This said he went into East Hurt Williams and he wanted a colonial style house and East Hurt Williams said, well, you might want to rethink that. And when he came into East Stuart Williams office, it said, Sinatra was wearing a sailor outfit with ice cream dripping all over his hands. From East Stuart Williams himself. So we're gonna swing around the other side where you can see the pool that's shaped like a piano. And look at that. Uh, in the distance, fly me to the moon private jet so as the sun sets in the west we're in the movie colony off of Via Calisa um, and Arkea Street right by the casino and I had to show you guys this this is Robo Lights could you imagine Frank he would have lost his mind seeing this in a neighborhood nonetheless this guy has made his whole compound just a whole bunch of these different sculptures and weird things. He used to have people here for Christmas and Halloween. You could walk through here, but the neighbors were not too fond of it. So they put an end to that and that was the end of Robolites. <laughs> so yes, I don't think Frank Sinatra would enjoy this much. I did hear some people inside, so I think I'm going to have to get a hold of the owner. It looks like a lot of this stuff has fallen into disrepair. Look at Jack. The sunset behind him. There's a Donald with bright red eyes. And this guy had the Santa Claus before it was cool. But this is literally a stone's throw from... Sinatra's first compound. And the front of the house. Yeah, there would be hundreds, if not thousands of people here on the weekends uh, going through this. So I'm definitely gonna have to see if, get permission to come in here and shoot. But okay, let's go to Sinatra's house. Look at that view. Okay, we made it away from the Robo Light. So we're on 1145 via Calusa. So you would have actually came in on the other side that we were on so crazy to see those palm trees still up after all these years but yeah this is the entrance that everybody comes in now when it's pretty much for whatever type of rentals so you'd walk down this way and as i was saying this um walkway has the open air to it so the pool is directly to the right we'll take a look at it that's in the shape of the piano and when the sun comes through here, it shines on the walkway. And that is actually the keys of the piano. So let's see if we can take a peek. Quick look over. There's the pool in the shape of the piano. And like I was saying, there's still some things of Sinatra. His original stereos inside. I don't know if you can see it right there, but 
trying to see it as best as I can from where we're at. Put in a little video of this house too. Well, as the sun falls in the west, Twin Palms Estate, Sinatra. Happy birthday, Frank. Would have been 108 today. So, Frank Sinatra sadly passed away in 1998 up in Malibu, in LA. I know he really would have rather been here. I know he never wanted to sell his compound over in Rancho Mirage, and it's just a shame, but Palm Springs still has such an essence of Frank Sinatra. I mean, everybody asked. I mean, even being here, I was able to talk to so many people and they were saying, where's the other Frank places? Where did Frank eat? What did Frank do? And where was other people that he knew? So I talked about all that. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, this video was kind of not planned as much as I like to. I, I do have a, a basic knowledge, uh, maybe a little bit more than that, of Sinatra and Palm Springs. But if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Um, please consider subscribing as always. And if you know anybody that enjoys Frank Sinatra, show them this video. I appreciate that too. Share it. Um, this house is for rent, like I said. You can find it. Frank Sinatra Twin Palms Estates. Google it. You'll be able to find it. A bit pricey, and I think you have to rent it for three nights. I believe it's three bedrooms. The sink inside the house is still cracked where he got in a fight with Ava Gardner and she threw a champagne bottle as the story goes at Frank is still cracked so that is in here I've been in the house a while ago I was invited in which was kind of cool I got to look around a little bit of the main room but once again happy 108th Frank from Palm Springs Palm Desert Rancho Mirage Coachella Valley thanks for watching and see you next time Designed by E. Stuart Williams in 1947 for Frank Sinatra and his first wife, Sinatra's house boasts both mid-century style luxury and historical significance with modern amenities. His house at 1148 East Alejo Road in Palm Springs would become known as Twin Palms, named after the two adjacent, leaning palm trees perched together on the property. The Twin Palms Estate compound includes a canopy skylight entryway past the pool to the house, and the great room's huge sliding glass doors open up to an expansive patio. Tall floor-to-ceiling windows create an open panoramic feel to the rooms, and Sinatra designed his bedroom in a separate wing in order to get away from it all, but not too far away. The home was a modern ranch house, with four bedrooms and seven bathrooms. This Palm Springs architectural gem features exquisite period furnishings such as St. Charles cabinets, terrazzo floor tiles, a wrap-around sofa, and vintage audio system, not to mention the infamous piano-shaped swimming pool. Playing host to countless Hollywood parties during the singer's heyday, the Sinatra estate is also said to be where the singer carried out several love affairs. His marriage was dissolved and so did the dream of a cozy retreat intended for wholesome family fun. Sinatra and his first wife, Nancy, divorced not long after the house was completed, and his longtime mistress and future second wife, Ava Gardner, moved into Twin Palms. The couple's tumultuous relationship played out in stormy scenes at the home. Après vous, monsieur. That means go, baby. <laughs> And now, the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll make it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full, I've traveled each and every highway and more much more than this i did it my way regrets i've had a few but then again too few to mention i did what i had to do I saw it through without exemption. I planned each charted course, 
Each careful step along the byway and more, much more than this, I did it my way.